When Governor Newsom comes back, he goes to a wedding, and then when Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg comes back, he says that roads are racist. Check out this video. As to where we target those, those dollars, you know, I, I'm still surprised that some people were surprised when I pointed to the fact that uh, if a highway was built for the purpose of di dividing a white and a black neighborhood, or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or that would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. Um, I don't think we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality. And I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it, which is why the reconnecting communities, that billion dollars, is something we want to get to work right away uh, uh, putting to work. Obviously. It's obviously racist. Everything yeah. is racist. Yeah. Fact check, not true. <laughs> it's like I bet they fact check your fact oh, check. Oh no. <laughs> but I was looking more into this and I guess what people are trying to take this from is this 1930s book. Mm -hmm. So the power brokerage trying to say that hey the uh, author Robert Moses believed that roads were made for racist intentions that they were meant to divide here and that they um, made these overpasses so tiny that buses can't get through that most black people were on it's not true mm -hmm. at all but they're pushing this this rhetoric here that we need to use this billion dollars right here right now to fight racism which is not just systemically and systematically inside our country it's in our roads it's everywhere well everything's racist yeah you know what is a really fun game to play so if you google <laughs> just any item place thing and you put is racist, something will come up. So if you put birds are racist, an article will come up. Birds are racist. Camping, camping is racist, an article will come up. Roads they are racist. They say camping is racist, actually. Air. That's a really common I was camping one. Racist. Air. Oh, yeah. They, everything that you can ever imagine, if you put blank is racist, an article will come up of someone saying that wine is racist, I saw. So um, that's a very fun <laughs> game if you just like want to do something. Why? Like the background of why I this... don't remember. With camping, it's like... Camping is like it's historically been white people who've enjoyed the outdoors for fun versus having to enjoy the outdoors oh because gosh. you were a slave. <laughs> and then it was also that outdoor gear is so expensive that historically only white people can afford that, which is such a slap in the face. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.